What's up everybody? Today we're going to be tying this really cool fire tiger jig that I came up with. It looks like this. So we're going to tie that up and then I'm going to take it fishing and show you how much the crappie like it. So for this jig I'm using a 1 16th ounce freestyle jig head and it has a size 4 sickle hook. I powder painted that with orange and then I sprinkled yellow on the top and the bottom. For the eyes I'm using 5mm yellow 3D eyes. It just has a really cool look with the colors. For the thread I'm going to be using a white uni thread, 6 aught in size. If you have yellow or orange thread, I definitely recommend using that, but I don't so I'm just going to use white and then I'll color it at the end. We're just going to start that thread behind the head and take it down to the point of the hook. For the tail I'm going to be using a hairline rabbit zonker or rabbit strip. This one is orange and black over yellow, it has a really cool tiger stripe design. So we're going to cut off about an inch of the hide from the end of the rabbit strip. Then you're going to measure that out on the jig so you know how much of the material to keep on the hide and then how much to cut off. You want to measure it so that the fur is about the length of the hook. And you can either tie this on the bottom of the hook or you can stick the hook through the strip and tie it on the top. But if you do it on the top the fish will see the hide on the bottom. So we're just going to pinch the rabbit strip on the hook right there and then do a loose wrap of thread and then you can tighten the wrap once it's in the right place and just keep doing that until you get up to the head of the jig. You want the hide to sort of hug the hook shank just like this and then it's going to be a little bit loose when you get up to the head so you can turn that rabbit strip if you need to and then bring the thread back down as you tie it down tight. Again make sure it's straight and then bring the thread back up to the head again. For the body we're going to be using this yellow antron chenille and this black and orange barred chenille. So we're just going to take a piece of each about four inches long and tie the tag ends of those right at the head right on top of the jig and tie those tight down to the tail. Make sure the tail fibers don't get trapped in those. Once you get that tied down tight you can bring the thread back up to the head and you can pull your chenille up and again make sure the tail fibers are not trapped in that. And we're going to take both of those chenilles and just twist them together like this and we're basically making a new chenille out of two pieces. So this one's a really cool yellow, orange and black chenille. So we're just going to keep twisting that until it's a nice uniform look. Once you get that how you want it, the easiest way to turn this is to use the rotary function of the vise so that you don't have to let go and run the risk of the chenille untwisting. So we're just going to use that rotary function to make nice even turns, make sure each one is pressed up against the last. Undo it if you need to, just take your time to make sure you get nice even wraps. Try to keep the chenille perpendicular with the hook shank and keep it tight. And once you get up to the head you can tie that off with your thread. Just give it about four really tight wraps of thread. And then one wrap in front of the chenilles. And then I like to untwist them and cut them off one at a time so I can cut them as close as possible. So just cut the tag end of that yellow. and then cut the tag end of the orange and black. And there you go. Now before I whip finish, I'm gonna color the thread orange. Just take my orange Sharpie here. And you don't have to do this if you're using orange or yellow thread, that's why I recommend that in the first place. And you can see as we turn this that the thread is now orange instead of white, so it'll just give it a nice clean look. And now we're gonna whip finish. I'm just going to give it a five or six turn whip finish. Pull the thread tight and clip it off. And there you have it. That is the completed Fire Tiger jig with the custom chenille. This one is absolutely killer. I didn't come up with this chenille technique, but I've never seen it look better than with these two chenilles together. You can see that since we tied in the rabbit strip this way that the hide is on top of the jig when it's being fished so the fish won't see that at all. 
If you tie it in on the bottom, this is what it'll look like to the fish. It's not a big deal either way, it's just a matter of preference. This way is just easier and it looks more clean from the bottom where the fish will be viewing it from. So now we're going to take this thing out on the water and see how it does. See if there's a fish under this tree. Oh, there we go. Fish on. I'm out here fishing the pond with the fire tiger jig under a bobber. See if we can get this guy in without the hook falling out. Looks like he brought a salad with him. Alright, let's reach over and get this guy. Look at that. Nice fish. Not a bad size at all. See ya, buddy. I didn't get the hook set on camera, but this is a really big one. I'm feeling lots of head shakes, so this is either a really big bluegill or a bass, I think. Oh yeah, that's a little largemouth. Well, looks like the fire tiger jig is largemouth approved as well. Let's see if we can get this guy in. There we go, nice little largemouth. It's about a pound. He really liked that jig. Ah, oh, he's got a sore on him. Let's let him go. There it goes. Nice fish. Oh yeah. This one feels a little bit bigger than the first crappie. And this one's definitely a crappie. Nice fish. It's a cloudy day out today. It's about to storm. So the fish are feeding really well right now. Oh yeah, nice crappie. I'll grab this guy. And look at that. Beautiful fish. He just choked that jig. No way he was coming off the hook. Oh yeah, he's hooked real well. There we go. That is the power of this fire tiger jig. See you later, buddy. Alright, well I'm going to keep fishing. Thank you so much for watching, and if you'd like to see more of this fishing content, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. The fish are loving this jig, so tie some up and try it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe.